yeah. test some canoes and see what how hard they have to work to go a certain speed in different boats. We're going to take the Volare, Micah's prototype V1 slash flat water, who knows. We'll take a Phi out to test the speed against that. And then Miko's got his Aries, so we're just going to play. We'll do like five and a half miles an hour, everybody side by side and see what their heart rates are at that speed. And then we'll do maybe six miles an hour and then we'll change boats and see what their heart rate is at that speed in a different boat. So we understand how much effort it takes to go what speed in which canoe. Everybody stays even, yeah? We'll just do heart rate checks. You tell us what your heart rate is at that speed. And then Nico, you can come inside. Well, you two are roughly five to six beats apart at the same speed. Uh, so we swap Dave and Micah, and we'll see what their difference is when they change boats. And if it's 30 again, we know that the boats are equal, and if it's not, we can look at what's faster. And then with uh, Nico and Brent, we'll do the same thing, right? So we know that they're five to six beats apart, and when we get up to the same speed, we'll check what their effort is to stay on that boat, and it should give us some sort of reading, hopefully. And we got Maddie taking notes back there. Cool. Right now, 114, 115. Right at 126, 127. Okay, 133. This buff was like 6.5 or whatever. 143. There we go. Yeah, 142. 38. 125. Let's bump it up a notch. Okay, right there. He's at 138, 40. 153 and go up. Let me see the speed once you got this it. One told you. This one is so hot. It's like immediate. But I started to flow from the sprint. How whiskey it has been. Uh, That's why I have a tough time to go through the swings. Or how to breathe it. Put it in red. I started arm paddling up. Yeah, that's what I do. This one gets up to speed quick, huh? The short boat. Yeah. The control is hard. Yeah. It takes a lot of concentration, a lot of work to keep it straight. The main thing we're looking at is the Vlari against the V1. Because yesterday we tested the Vlari against the other boats we had out there. We had a lot better flat water speed than the Valari. We want to test it against the V1, which is basically the fastest flat water boat out, right? And we'll see how it stacks up with speed against the five with heart rate and speeds. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll go steady and Brent, we're gonna be watching you and, and Micah. <laughs> Brent, come this, come to this side. We found out that at that speed, which was 6.5 with the tide behind them and the wind in, in their face, um, their heart rates were within three or four beats of each other consistently at that speed. So we're going to change boats and we'll see at that same speed if one of them goes up higher on the rate to keep up. And then I'll give us an idea of what boat's got a little better run. So he was right on the same page. Okay, let's go. We'll go steady and you guys just stay side by side. We'll take a look. What's your heart rate? 118. If you look at the Valari, right, it's the, the boat's 19 foot 6 inches. And there's about, when he's paddling, maybe three inches max of the boat out of the water. So you're talking a 19 foot three inch water line in the flat, which is good, you know, for a OC1, that's a lot of speed you're gonna get in a flat water. 25. Uh, so, and we're looking at Micah's about, he's about three beats higher now to stay up 
to speed with the V1. And the V1 probably has about a 23 foot water line. So that says that the hull is good here, right? The hull is fast. Because with that, you know, almost a three foot shorter water line, he's not trying that much harder to stay with the speed of the V1. Stay even, yeah, you guys. Heart rate, Brent? 28, Mike was 131, so they were, I think, a little closer when Michael was in the V1, so he's got a, got a little better speed right now, a little better speed in the V1 at this speed of 6.2 miles an hour, but not much, which is super encouraging. Okay, so let's come up a little on the pace. Make sure you guys stay even. Hold it right there. Now we're at about 6.7 miles an hour. The tide's going out, so they're going into the tide a little. What's your heart rate, Brent? 22. Okay, we'll go for another 20 seconds or so, and then we'll check it. 141. Okay, now we got Mike up about, he's over 150. So we know that, okay, at you know, close to seven miles an hour, that longer water line, and that new one is running nicer. But we'll swap them again. Huh? 143. A little bit. We gotta, you know, as you come up on speed, the longer water line is giving them a little better travel. Okay, so let's go easy for about 30 seconds, and then you guys are gonna come up and go hard for, I don't know, 40 seconds, maybe a minute. Okay, and go. Okay, stop. Okay, and then let's switch. Well, we're gonna switch boats and turn around. Yeah, so we'll switch you guys out so we can try it again, right, with a little higher speed and like a max max test. And what we see is, you know, Valari and even Cahele, in that minute, they got good speed, right? But, I mean, realistically, over an hour, it'd be harder to maintain that speed with that shorter water line, right? But we still have really good flat water speed, which is nice. You know, we know we have that acceleration and that short and that pickup. And at a minute, you know, everybody's starting to, people start to feel it around that 30 second point and that comes into where you're transitioning and you're trying to travel for that shorter piece. You know, 70, 70, 75 percent for a couple minutes. Face it. What's your heart rate, Fred? 132. Okay. Mike was at 134, so at this speed, you guys are about the same effort to go this speed, right? Yep. 6.5, you know, a little headwind. Yeah, so they're equal. Mike was at 154, so at this speed, we got kind of the same amount of resistance, right? That's super promising. Come up just a little more, steady. Okay, Brent, heart rate? 158. Mike was at 163, right? But he's got a steer, so he's got some energy in the steering, right? Heart rate, Brent? Stop. So his heart rate's lower than you at this speed. How lower? By five feet. <laughs> the boat's fast. Once it gets to speed, I think. Once you exactly, yeah. Once the Valari gets to a point where it's over that six or six two, I think it really gets easy. You, know, yeah. you get up that speed, up the higher speeds, and that boat maintains it at a really easy pace. Nice. Like my heart rate would jump up on the kind of sprint up to speed. Yep. But then it would start to relax a bit. You know, yep. once I'm at speed, and it would hold. Then we did a high speed test, and as the speed got up, like over six and a half, it just accelerated and it held that speed real nicely in the flat. So it went pretty well. I mean, so we know it surfs, right? I mean, you got the results. It's super good in the bump, and I think we have a long enough water line in that boat to be really fast in the flat. Oh, that one. So now we have. The Valari designed to surf, but it ended up with a longer flat water water line than I expected. I always say you don't get both. You don't get like a surfing boat and you add a flat water boat that's fast. Like it's really hard to have one that does both. But with the Valari, I think we got it. And I think we got it because we got this really long flat water water line. But we also have a shorter canoe that fits in the surf now with the right heights on the bow to keep it dry. So 
Yeah, I mean, I think we kind of nailed it by accident. I mean, I didn't ex I didn't expect the Ferrari to be this fast in the flat. Like when I designed it, I did not expect to have this kind of results in the flat, and um, we're getting it. So I'm super stoked.